I'm going to insert some random clips. And I just want to say, allegedly, totally allegedly, I hope that one day P. Diddy has his R. Kelly day. Because he has the longest rap sheet of anybody. Like, New York City. And I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending you New over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp? Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place. Uh-huh. And I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim. Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody and your parents C, were Mary okay. Mary J. Blosh. They ain't nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, could you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. Yeah. I actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and, and, what's yeah. the, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had, like, per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had, like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? And so I started hanging out with Puff, like, back in the day. And I know the story don't make sense, but it's going to make sense. I would hang out and watch him throw parties. He threw a party, and he, he said, did. yo, Playboy, this party costs a million and a half dollars. I'm like, you are out of your mind. Puff, I'll throw you a party for 400 bucks. That will rival this party. And he got pissed at me. He said, yo, don't play with me. I'm your you know what I'm saying? But in L.A., I'm known for throwing, like, these cool little parties. Well, he called. I started following him. So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel. I'm filming this. And it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. It's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Given custody of him, you know, he signed the Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, and, and we're gonna go full, buck full crazy. I was never gonna talk about the Jamie Foxx butt naked basketball games. But since he's talking about it, I'm going to talk about it. Before I do, though, everything in this video is alleged. And for entertainment purposes only, I have to say that. Also, I value my own life. I'm so serious when I say that. I value my own life. Okay, because Diddy likes to do it. So back in the 90s, my mom nicknamed Jamie Foxx. Like, if you take the O out of his name and replace it with a U... That's what she used to call him. But to his face is like a haha joke because he used to bang so many guys and girls in Hollywood. And he used to have these things called butt naked basketball games, okay? He would invite over a lot of like Hollywood's elite to his house for a basketball game, but it was men only. And they would be like, oh, we're just gonna get naked and play basketball. It's like, oh, haha, let's get naked and play basketball together, which is weird. And this happened in the 90s. So... A lot of your like favorite celebrities were there, including someone who may or may not been married to someone who was drinking that lemonade. If you want to know like who was probably at these games, just look at like who P. Diddy and Jamie Foxx have been hanging around for years, especially the like the super successful ones. Usher was definitely there. Justin Bieber tried to warn you guys about this. I'm inserting these for proof. So I was talking about this with my friend the other day. And they text me and was like, weren't we just talking about this? And I was like, what? Here's what the link said. <laughs> but read what I said in response to that. Yeah. That's why I say I value my own life. Also, I feel like people are going to think that this is just about like black men. It's not. <laughs> they were not discriminating. A lot of like famous white actors were there too. And side note, I know men that have been invited to the parties that knew about this. Like, if people at the radio station knew, like, come on, you think everybody didn't know? And they wouldn't go because they were like, we're not down with that. That's, like, weird. 